I built this collar to shock me every time I slouch. For as long as I can remember, my mom has been telling us to sit up straight, stop slouching, and of course... But ever since I moved out, I haven't had anyone to scold me with a pointy stick whenever my posture isn't pristine. And this is a problem because I spend hours a day mindlessly on my computer, and I'm starting to look like the hunchback of Notre Dame. But that's just because of my face. My posture, on the other hand, it sucks. I'll say it. It sucks. I looked into buying one of those fancy posture correctors, but I've heard those make your posture worse over time. After a lot of research, I stumbled onto these really cool devices. They vibrate every time you slouch to train your brain into sitting upright. The only problem, they look a lot like AirPods, which I don't mind, hashtag Team Apple. But I'd rather just buy AirPods with that ridiculous price. As a fourth year engineering student who knows almost nothing, I'm gonna try and build my own. I found this really cool sensor that can measure angles. The power of geometry. The idea is, as I rotate this, or in my case start to slouch, it'll update me in real time to let me know. It took me, what, 25 minutes? Actually, it took me a couple hours. This device doesn't really do anything other than tell me that my posture sucks which I already knew. So I wanted to find something that would remind me of my childhood and make sure that I never slouch again. So I bought a shock collar. Once the collar came in, I tested it on almost every setting. Ah! Oh! <laughs> ah! <laughs> you go, I start to slouch. Oh! And I learned nothing. So far, all I have is a sensor to check if you're slouching. I need this sensor to send a signal to the remote, which then controls the shock collar. The first thing I tried was to take apart the remote and hardwire a circuit into my controller. But then I realized I have no idea how to do that. So I had to scratch that idea entirely. Wait, I still need that. Then I came up with this new, way more complicated idea where I can build something capable of powering motors that'll push the buttons on the remote for me. And here's how it came out. The remote slides in here, and the three motors on top can be controlled to push each button to make the collar either beep, vibrate, or kill. I mean, shock. And it works pretty well. But I ran into another small problem. The wires are way too small for me to wear this thing. So yet again, I had to find a solution that'll make the problem way more complicated than it needed to be. So I bought a wireless transmitter and receiver for like $7, and you might as well just call these things mini vacuums because they suck. They only send a signal when everything is lined up perfectly, which is never leaving me to show off some of my most notorious dance moves. After days of struggling and almost giving up, they finally connected to each other. You can see by my reaction that I'm just as surprised as myself. And here's how the final design works. The wannabe AirPods are continuously checking your posture. Once you start to slouch, a signal is sent to the detonator way over there where some beep beep boop action takes place, pushing the buttons in the remote, which triggers the shock collar, reminding you to sit up straight. I know, I don't get it either. I added some finishing touches like this box here to hide all the wires and to make this thing see-through because I thought it looked cool. And it works flawlessly. Ah. Or at least it did. After I dropped the sensor and broke the transmitter, I thought it was over. There was no chance I was gonna buy a new one and I tried everything I could think of to fix it. But after some positive reinforcement, oh, you. I got it to work again. I changed the program to make this loud beeping noise every time I slouch. Let's me know, slouch. Sludge. And if I don't fix it after five seconds, it'll shock me. I sludge for too long. Come on. <laughs> there it goes. Okay. But as you can see, the beeping can get pretty annoying pretty fast. Now here's where it gets cool. Here's where it gets cool. 
here's where it gets cool. I also didn't think it was safe to get shocked this much. So I took apart my electric toothbrush to get this tiny motor inside that vibrates. And I connected that directly to the sensor to make everything easier. And it does exactly what the thing on Amazon does. But instead of paying $80, I spent God, I spent like $100 on this thing. But hey, oh, who am I kidding? I got nothing to brag about. Although it looks like a pile of garbage, this vibrating device actually works. I used it for about a week and somehow it rewired my brain. Every time I slouch without even wearing the device now, I get this weird and uncomfortable feeling and I have to sit up almost instantly. Would I spend $80 on something like this? Probably not. I would most likely just buy a chair with a backrest next time. Before I gave up the shock collar completely, I gave the remote to my mom so she can remind me to sit up straight one last time. Ah! <laughs>– suffer from chronic back pain or severe rheumatoid arthritis? Do you spend hours a day working behind a desk with bad posture? Hi, I'm Justin. Justin.